Hello everyone, and welcome back to Vault Hunters. Today we are starting off by mining a bit of our vault stone, because we needed some more chip vault rocks. We have to make some vault rocks. Wait, are they called vault rocks? Vault crystals, sorry. Okay, so... That's what, that's what we're doing, that's what we're doing. Because I have made one, but we will need to make some more, because I only currently have one. So how, I, how you do that, if you're not sure, you do that, and then you get some chromatic iron. And you do boop, and we have some bolt rocks. Let's pop one on here. Uh, do I even have some of those? What are they called? Spore blossom. I have three. I have enough. Hooray. Spore blossom. Bamboo. Oh, I don't think I have enough rotten flesh. No, I have none. Anyway, we do have a crystal, so that is not the issue. Let me quickly sleep the night away. All right. So today I want to get a lot more of the quest book done, or at least a lot what we can get up to so far. Let me just pop this in here because it looks cool. I love the look of the portal when it's like that, so I'm just going to leave it like that. But do know we do have a vault crystal in there. So let's just get into this. Reroll a gear piece with a wild focus. Uh, do we just have like random? We do. We just have a ra Let's just do that. Doesn't need to be anything good. Alright, what do we even get? Three health, five armor. Eh. Also, if you can't tell, I have upgraded my upgraded my weapon since the last time. My sorry, my no, not just my weapon, my armor mostly. Um, I repaired my shield because it was was looking a bit worse for wear, and I did upgrades on pretty much everything. I don't remember what, but I think I upgraded my helmet two times, and we are almost level twenty, as you can see down the bottom. But we have completed that. What do we get? Some of that stuff. So let's just go pop it into this. Alright, what's next? Scrapping vault gear. Acquire a vault recycler. That's a... Uh, that. Hooray. Easy. Easy. Craft a plain burger. Ooh, now I don't think we can do that. I don't think we have enough burger parts. Oh, we do. Never mind. Never mind. Let's just eat up the Borgors. We don't need to save them for anything. Even further the way to level 20. Alright. Great. That's also done. What do we get? 10 more Borgors. Okay, let's quickly eat them. Alright, so we also got this while we're doing that. Get to level 10. Now, Elixir Vaults. Apply a seal of the sage to a vault crystal. We just put our vault crystal in the portal. No. Okay. All right. Um, seal of the sage. We're gonna have to do that. Um. That is really. An that is actually really annoying. So you know what we have to do right now? Let's check our bounties. Find 15 vault plating. And gather elixir in an elixir vault. Oh no, it's a monolith vault. We can't even complete our elixir bounty, which is annoying, but it's okay. We'll complete the monolith objective. Oh, where did they come from? We'll complete the monolith objective, get some good loot, get out of the vault, and then whew, there's a monolith right there. And then we will craft the elixir thing, get our bounty, and also get the uh, other thing, the quest. So many loot piles. And our first monolith. Which is really good. Any good ores? Eh. Just basic ones. But I'm not going to complain. Most ores are going to be really useful eventually. Well, all ores have a use eventually, so... That's something. Water bucket. Oh yeah, another thing I crafted was this infinite water bucket. Which literally... Just infinitely water buckets. It's very useful. I needed a pog, but... I have pog stuff, so it's fine. Is this just a really big ore vault? I'm just getting so many ores. I'm also getting extra soul shards because I took a level in witchery, which um increases my like soul shard thing. The amount of soul shards I get if I'm at full mana. And the reason I just drank a vial there, even though I wasn't down much health, is I get more mana regen at full health. So it kind of counteracts each other in a way. 
I might uh, <laughs> put some stuff away. You know, that would be handy. That's a lot of Vault Stone. A lot of Vault Stone. But as you see, we need the Vault Stone to uh, fortune down. Ornate. Complete my bounty. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I had a bounty to get the Vault Plating. So that's good. That's good. I obviously got all the Vault Plating. I'm really going to have to make a pouch. Okay. This is my reminder to make a pouch for the uh, ores. <laughs> That is definitely something that is very obvious right now. Make a pouch for the ores. Anyway, this has been a very successful vault. 10,800 XP. Let's have a look. Great. Level 20. And we get our bounty. Uh, yes. And we activate that too. And we got our expertise point. Okay, let me sort through this for a second. So the next thing I want to do is spend this expertise point. So I, if we have a look here, not much I really need. Well, Lucky Altar might be good, but I am definitely going into Fortunate. An extra level of Fortune will be insane. Seeing as though I have all of these ores now, that I will uh, Fortune down, it'd be so much better to have the uh, extra level of Fortune. So right now, we want to make another pouch. I forget how you make these. What do I have for it? Okay, so I need perfect larima. One, two, three. And a pouch. Which I can make. So we have made ourselves another bundle. I got really distracted. I forgot what, I, what my train of thought was. But we have created the pouch. This is going to be my ore pouch. I have these two upgrades. I hope they are good enough. Uh, I forget how to do this. How do I add? Oh, I was about to say, how do I add upgrades to the backpack? But there we go. So, we're going to get our vault stone. And now that backpack should have everything saved. And we can take this all out. Huge. We don't want to take those out, though. Uh, I love how that's still the thing. If I drop it, will it pick it up? Yep, it's just a visual glitch. Okay, well, we have that pouch set up now. That's pretty good. We'll pop that up there with those pouches. Speaking of pouches, I have to... Oh. This one has vault stone already. It's all right. More vault stone storage in case something like that happens again. So, this next crystal... Oh, we have enough bamboo. I was about to say, I don't know if we have enough bamboo. We definitely do. I think that was it. Yep. Uh, that one's done. This one's not. Do we have basalt? Does smooth basalt count? Nope. Alright, well, we're going to have to go to the nether. And we're going to have to wait for it to be night time to get some of these. Uh... There we go. It's done. Get some of these rotten fleshes, because I do not have rotten flesh. Alright, so we need basalt. Basalt it is. Hopefully there's a basalt thingy somewhere close. Oh, perfect! Just what I needed. I can find you in the vaults, but I didn't expect you to find you here. Well, I did, because it was the nether, but you know what I mean. Alright, that's definitely enough, and I'm really scared of the nether, so let's go. And it's dark, which is the perfect time to gather up some rotten flesh, so I'll cut back when I've gotten the rotten flesh. Alright, so I've gotten the rotten flesh, and it is now daytime too. So no more zombies just spawn. Great. I cleared them out. I, I killed every single one I could find. And we've got our vault crystal. Where did it go? Please don't go down there. Thank you. That's behind the scenes. All right, so now if we get another rock. Huzzah, let's pop it on just in case it's an easy one. Snow, that's not an easy one. Do I even have cocoa beans? I do, do I have snow? No, okay. Well, that should be decently easy. We're just gonna have to find a snow biome. But this one, I can't forget, seal of the sage. Elixir Vault's quest completed. I get those. Ooh, 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 before I forget. New bounty. 
I put on a light the monoliths bounty just in case just in case We gotta wait for it to re-roll too So that's gonna be the next one we do. Ooh, it's a nice purple portal Okay, we have to craft Wherever it is a new chromatic iron pick. Oh, we can make chromatic steel picks now Was that it would have been level 20? Okay, we're definitely gonna do that. Ah, an alarm. Oh, give me a second. Give me one second. I gotta do with this alarm. Yep. Okay, we're back. I just had to put the oven on for something for my mum. Anyway, we need some woototic mass. How much do we need? I don't want to overmake it because it's expensive. In case we need the other stuff, it's around here. Only two woototic mass. Easy. Okay, let's put that in there. I need more bronze. Oh. I do have to make perfect wootodite. As two woototic mass. Okay, I need that. Okay, thanks. And then we need bronze. I don't know how much we need, so let's grab that. Can we make it? Chromatic steel pick. So as you can see now, it has a 150 capacity compared to the 100 capacity that this has. So we can, in theory, put more stuff on it. This is looking worse for wear. Next pickaxe we make, we won't replace it with a chromatic iron. We'll replace it with a chromatic steel. So, let's get some emeralds and let's enchant up this chromatic steel pick. Efficiency 5. Unbreaking 3. And I think we are going to go... Hmm. I'm gonna keep it with the silk touch because I changed my mind. Uh, that can go up there. The shard pouch can go up there. I need more room in my hopper. And what jewels do we want to put on this thing? So obviously we've got that and that. So we now we have every single affinity. This one has gilded ornate. This one has wooden. This one has living and coin. Great, great. Okay, what other jewels do we have that we can put on this one? Let's have a quick look. Oh, that one's a really good one. Legendary item of item rarity and only 27 size. We have 27 capacity left. So that's pretty good. That is a pretty good pickaxe. If I do say so myself. That's the same durability, but just overall better. So that's a really good quality of life upgrade. So, I think it's time for us to go into the vault. Because we do have to complete a god altar. Which means we just have to do the thing that the altar wants. Which, in theory, we should have enough for. Anything in salt shard pouch? No. Salt shard menu, sorry. I bought a uh, jewel, but it was pretty bad. I like to buy the jewels because sometimes they can be good, but this time it was not the greatest. Anyway, let's go. This one is, of course, the Elixir Rush at Accustomed. 20% Vault Experience and Prismatic. Plus 10. <gasps> Ooh, if we die, we don't keep our stuff. Okay, that's good to know. No more beginners, whatever. So we have to be careful. I love this vault theme. This is such a sick vault theme. Wow. Wow, that's great. It's actually really great. Crab. What are you What are you doing? What are you doing here, crab? Okay. Great. Oh. I think level 20, I get new loot. I get coconut slices at least. Maybe that's just because it's a coconut Oh, he looks absolutely sick. Oh, I thought I thought you I thought you weren't here. Huh. The bit tankier now. It's alright. We can deal with them. We can handle it. We can handle it. There is these bad boys though. Which I do love. I love some good uh thingy my bobbies. Gilded chest. Gilded chest. Wrong pickaxe. I got a jewel! That is such a really small living affinity jewel. Okay, that's actually perfect. It, when this uh, living pickaxe breaks, that is such a good living, living affinity jewel. 
That's actually a really good find. Really good find. And it's got item rarity. Actually huge. Oh, it's a, that's a level 2 mob. You can see how he looks different. He's tankier and stronger. You see how he had like the eye scar thingy? And looked different from the tier 1 mob? That was a tier 2 mob. Oh. And we run straight through the factory room. Like it doesn't have mobs everywhere like it used to. But still, it has no use for me because it's just compressed blocks. And we start needing a lot of blocks. Factory rooms are a haven, but they do have a lot of mobs on the outsides. I think these captain ones are like level 2 drowns or something. Because they are tanky. Alright, god altar hunting time. Oh! Oh! It's in the next room. This is the next room, and it's God Altar. 20 levels? Well, I completed the God Altar's quest. I didn't get myself a favor, but I did complete the quest, so that's good. And just pretend I didn't fail that. There he is, the Lodestone! I'm insane. Let's go, Vault Complete! 12,000 experience. And we leveled up to level 21. Claim our bounty. A scavenger hunt? No. Mine wings today? No. Mine Larima? That's doable. Alright. Bounty crates. And other crates. But let's quickly go put these away. That jewel? This living affinity jewel? 10 size? That's honestly insane. Quests complete. What did we get? An altar chest scroll. Guess that's also going in here. Huge. What's next? Interact with a black market. Can do, chief. What do I get? Soul shards. Using knowledge. Oh, this is where it's about to get fun. So we have our final pouch being uh, suckied and... I've gotten our fortune pick here. Am I gonna fortune it? Oh, almost a stack of Benny and Tights. Nice. Is this done? Nice. Noise. Okay, so Benny and Tight, 106. So, how many knowledge stars can we craft? Let's just craft all of these into knowledge shards. 45 knowledge shards. Wow, okay. How many vault diamonds do we have? 99! Okay. And we already have some extraordinary Benyatite. Let's just make two more. Because why not? And we need some diamond, vault diamonds. Knowledge cores. Okay. Knowledge stars. Oh, we we can craft one more. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Benny and tight. Four diamonds of the vaults. Oh yeah. Huh. I need to do that first. I was like, why isn't it working? Vault diamonds. And then, knowledge shards. Actually insane. Five knowledge points. Let's go. And what was our completion for the quest? Ooh, a mod box. Complete level 20. I'm level 20. I get another knowledge star. Let's eat that too. Five. I ate the mod box. I got a storage upgrade. Okay. I didn't mean to eat the mod box, but it's from an unlocked mod, which must be... What? I... Okay, it is definitely for that, because I didn't mean to give it to that, but there's a storage upgrade there now. Okay, so what mods do we want to get? I really want to play with Create. Might go double pouches, though. 
All right, double pouches. We'll look into that soon. And we have three more knowledge stars. That doesn't increase it by anything. Um, unlocks vault potions and the alchemy table. Interesting. What else do we want, though? If anything, we don't necessarily have to get anything else. But... I don't think we need more storage for now. We might just save up for belts. Getting two more knowledge stars will get us to belts. Okay, so these are the last things that I am popping in here. Great. Backpack settings. Slot memory, save to slot. Four. Great. I will have to resave it to slot four. I forgot to do, I had to do that. Save to slot four. Great. All the stuff we can now put away. It's all cluttered up my inventory, but that is fine. I put my unobtainium blocks back in there, but it's all right because we can grab our new stack. Okay, one thing I did see, I have some mystery boxes and some booster packs that I want to open. All right, so let's put these in there so that the stuff doesn't get eaten up if it's in the pouches. Oh, we've already got an artif- uh, a thingy? We got two! Three! Wow, okay, three. What's that from? Dragon relic? Ooh, 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 another dragon. The richity set. Oh, that's a new one. And that's minor? That is also minor. Oh, three new ones from sets we did have. Alright. Let's just... What do we get? <gasps> Echo! We got an Echo Gem! That's actually really good. And a lot of emeralds. That is... Okay, that is actually really good. I got an Echo Gem, which is probably one of the rarest things you can get out of there. Some Larimar, emeralds, and diamonds. Perfect. Well, I think we've had a pretty good episode. But thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I know it's been a bit of a longer episode, well I assume I haven't edited it yet, but I hope you stick through it, and if you did, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe, it really supports me. But thanks so much for watching, I'll see you next time, goodbye.